Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 164, Learning X Pages Part 5, Application Properties. In this one, we finally make a database. Okay, and let's, uh, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to begin actually finally trying to develop an application here. So first thing I'm going to do is, uh, the CRM is just starting to annoy me, so I'm going to call this app uh, Network. Uh, for the time being, because that's kind of stupid as it is, but it's still better than CRM. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch Domino Designer, which you should have already had installed. So we're going to do open Domino Designer. Okay. Now, a couple of things to notice inside Domino Designer itself, as we talked about, I, I believe, in earlier, we talked about some of the pref preferences and stuff, but there's also this thing called perspectives. And we want to primarily be in the X pages perspective. There's a Domino Designer perspective, um, there's this forms of views for different levels. You can actually do job and plugin uh, development and stuff like that. So we're going to uh, go to the X pages perspective. And if you do go to um, preferences in here somewhere, um, not 100% sure where it is. You can, I believe this is you can add different elements to your different perspectives here. So, so if one doesn't fit your needs completely, like say for, if you want to stay in X pages, you can actually turn on, you know, outlines if you need to and stuff like that. So this is very kind of flexible. And speaking of outline, we're going to drag that up here because then I've got this whole area of screen to work with uh, when we do get to an outline. Now, you also have this concept of working sets. Now, I don't really have a working set or, or anything going on here. It's pretty bland. But working sets are kind of like ways to just group like I, like applications and, and things of that nature. Okay, but we're going to just get right in here. We're going to do File, Application, New. And we're going to start on Local. And, and I will be honest, when you're, when you're starting with a brand new database, it, it is kind of nice to just start with a, a, an NSF file. Uh, note for note storage facility. Um, that's a, that's the database you can put on the server. You can run. It's very much quicker to test things and, and stuff like that. But once you kind of get going on a little bit, then it's kind of nice to work on a template and then update your database. So we're going to start right with a template and uh, kind of just go from there. So we'll call this um, network. And I'll call this two because I do have. Uh, again, I've not really planned this out very well, but I do have a, a kind of a, a working copy um, that's only slightly ahead of, of this video, quite honestly. Um, so we don't want to mess with that. Network 2.ntf. Okay, and NTF just means uh, it's a template. NSF means it's a a storage facility or a database. There's really no difference between the two of them. You can actually rename the file uh, pretty safely, I believe. Um, but an NTF cannot run on the server. It doesn't, you know, um, you can't do web or X pages off that. You need to be off a, an NSF. And we have ourselves a database, okay? And we have forms and views and folders and X pages and all sorts of good stuff here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down into application configuration and kind of kind of look at some stuff. So so there's application properties and there's XSP properties and there's the faces config inside here. So inside application properties, we're going to just take a look around. This is kind of like old school stuff. We don't really we're not really going to mess with that. Launch when we actually have X pages. This is where we're going to set whatever the the designated X page to launch is. Uh, design. This is where you really name it a template. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, to I'll just call that. That'll be my template name. And then when I do make an NSF file, it will basically end up with this name in this spot. And then I'll be able to refresh the design very easily for code updates and changes. X pages. We're not going to mess with single copy X pages design or really anything else here. So we're just giving it the template name. And we have to save that. If you were to come in here and, and from the workspace do application properties, you can get to most of those exact same things. See, here's the template name. Um, here's some of the, the advanced properties. Uh, where, where is it? Actually, here it is, etc. But you don't have to save it. So once you close it, it's, it's kind of instant. Okay, and let's come back in here to our application. The next one here is XSP properties. These are kind of X pages specific. Okay, so we can set a theme, which, which we're going to do. Um, 
we're going to turn this on this display x pages runtime error message so that will give you the the stack trace um, and you, you, you're going to want to see that. I'm going to want to see that. When you deploy it, you probably should turn that off or so. I haven't quite f done that myself yet or, or kind of come up with a great solution for those kind of errors that might might actually get in front of a user. Um, but for now, typically we're going to make sure that this is on so we can get the better error messages. Okay, if we scroll down here, we could, if we're doing uploads, which we're not going to do anytime soon, but you can set the maximum upload size here. There's also a setting for that on your server as well, so you want to kind of be in sync and stuff like that. Uh, this is kind of cool. I've not really taken too much advantage of that, but you can kind of set it to be, well, which release are you targeting? So uh, I, I believe the goal of that is, you know, if, if you're using, you know, Designer 901 and, and your server is 853, you can use that and it'll keep you from using anything that's new. Uh, but quite honestly, I've never used that because I'm always on the latest and greatest. Uh, and you do want to try to get on the latest and greatest because it, they, they make a lot of changes very quickly. And it's always good to have the, the, the code updates. Server page persistence, we're going to leave the, the stuff alone for now. I do want to highlight your attention to this use runtime optimized JavaScript and CSS. This is a big deal. This will help make your applications perform better uh, because there's less gets involved or so. It, it combines JavaScript files and CSS files or whatever magic it does. But you want to make sure that this is on. I've seen it sometimes get off on my stuff, and people complain it's slow, and I look, it's like, oh, I must have bumped that or something, I don't know. Uh, but you turn that back on, and life is better. Page generation. Um, we're going to come down here, and we're going to say HTML5, because that's really what Bootstrap likes, and, and that's what I'm targeting. And here's the libraries that you can set to, that's on our server, that we installed in a previous video, that we're going to set to use. Um, so we want to use the extension library. So we're going to say that's going to be there right away. We're going to use the Bootstrap library because we're going to use Bootstrap right away. This is the experimental extension library. We don't really care about that or the relational database library. Don't care about that. Here's the Open NTF library. Um, we do care about that. And we're going to actually, actually put on this debug toolbar as well. So all that does is make the, the code that's inside those libraries uh, available to us. And then the last tab here is basically all those preferences and some kind of, you know, text file, source file that, that you can use. And we're going to save that. Okay. And that's the demo. If you have any questions for me, here's my contact information, and I thank you for your time. Okay, finally, I can increase the resolution size of the show. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, that's just lovely. <laughs>